When Splatoon 3 launched, there were gear. It was really the clothing of all time. But now that there's more variation with three big content drops, I wanted to look through all of it to see if there was a gems. Rating it on the basis of how special it is compared to other choices. For example, the 20 of black shoe will rate lower than something that has only one variation. Color combo. How well does it go with other choices in the game? And finally, fit. While not as important as the others, this does play a factor, especially since you have limited options in legwear that need to fit with it. Also, please keep in mind that this is all my terrible opinion, with practically no knowledge on fashion. So please don't take this as advice, just for fun. We begin with the shoes first, the lowest tiered ones being the Blueberry Casuals, because look, look at this model, and there being so many other odd good options for blue coloured shoes. Custom trail boots, I can give some credit for being the only one with some, this model. It, it's a bad model, but at least has that. The Cuttlefish Sandies at least have a funny name, and while at launch I would have given it a higher tier, but now that there's so many other good options for sandals, it gets outclassed. The so kid clams at least have some slight gradient, but once again, it's outclassed by other options. Sunset Orco high tops. I just don't like how straight this one is on the curve. It's probably just a me thing though. You jellies, also personal opinion. I I really don't like the seafood blue thing. It just ain't for me. Now for the high tiers. Arrow colons, an option that might seem pretty basic at first glance, but have red under them. In combination with the great model and combos, this makes it a very good choice. Next is the Pearless and Kicks, that are an amazing choice, max in special, model and combo. Also one of the only pastel options, please Nintendo, I just need more pastel, please. So why Arrow is the next? Similar to the Black Arrows, it has blue highlights instead. Having less combo potential than the others? Black Pugs are probably the best trick black shoe, mostly since the model is the best one. The Crazy Arrows are mostly here because look at that rainbow finish, wow that's so cool. It's really the only one that has more than 3 colours on it and it actually pulls it off. Now for the only Squid Force feature, Fight Tops. These are mostly here because they have a very good model and special colouring, unlike most of the other black shoes. And of course, like the other black shoes, good combos. And the last top tier I will cover, and my second favourite football option, first being the Pearlescent. Snowy down boots. I really love these. The model is X tier in my opinion and the fit is great. Unfortunately it doesn't go well with really any clothing. I mean some may be compared to the others. So once again, please Nintendo just add some more pastel. Next up is clothing. Starting once again with the lowest tier. That all really have the same problem. Of who said yes to these colours? Especially as a macho down jacket. Like who said yes to this? Please. Anyways, we're gonna go straight to the top tiers. It was a pearlescent hoodie. Please, please, Nintendo, I just need past that. White Ink Rider might seem like an odd choice. Especially with the airflow being an eater. But the airflow's problem is the insane amount of bulk that it has. But what puts it over the edge is two things. Firstly, the badges on it. White clothing usually doesn't have much colour on it. And if, and if it does, it's pink and all subtle. And this one is the only one that has good looking badges, in my opinion. And most importantly, is the choice of the back. Like, it looks so cool. Look at it. <laughs> For such a large amount of clothing options, I would have really thought there would be more good hoodie options. But right now, this is the best one. Also helps it's got some really good colour on it. The ink black tangle top is a really nice option, with a really nice design to it. Probably one of the best of the many many sweater designs. The guy behind it is the Anki blue cuff. Mainly because it does actually have a special model to it, and there being a lack of good good choices in the game. Keyword being good. For the underdog pick, we have the Bazushi wrap, but honestly I'm surprised how few people choose this, with a special model, vibe and a good colour compass. Now for the headgear, with the lowest tiers being the party hard hat, mostly good for splatfests, and that's about it really, but at least it has a special model. The forge mask looks really odd. There's far better options for masks, and it looks really uncomfortable. And finally, swim goggles. Mostly good because funny, and I can sort of see it, but other than that, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just baby. I don't know. Now for the high tiers. The goggles are a classic. Since Splatoon 1 launch, being in Mario Kart for the Inkling Boy, for most short images, and etc, etc. And unlike the swim goggles, these actually have some style on it. Mostly because it goes over the forehead, and it's the eyes, and it's 
big. Vroom Vroom Cap is a very nice option, mostly due to its use of pastel, but a different one from the pearlescent ones, and the lack of good caps in the game. The Hero Head Circle Applica is here mostly due to the fact it has some animation to it, and works really well with some of um, clothing options. If you're wondering why the, very, why the white one isn't here, it feels very plasticky, and, and, and I'm sorry, it just feels like it's gonna like snap. The marinated headphones are just really pretty. Special model color and combos. I really need to get to Pearl and Marina Amigos. So filming glasses are one of the few good looking glasses, although they could have some nicer color tone. Still really good though. The Echo Octophone Blancos shares the same model with its regular counterpart, but works a lot better here. Also gets bonus points for its good highlights around it. The Tenta Clinger earrings are a special choice mostly due to the lack of jewelry in the game, and its subtlety. This would have been X tier, but now that the contacts are here, it isn't unguided now. Not in the jewelry department, which is why it's still so high tier. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to make your own list, I've put a link to the tier list maker I created for this video in the description. I would love to see that. Thank you for watching and a reminder that this is all my opinion, don't take it serious, thank you.